Hi, I'm Alex and welcome to Super Make Something. Today, we're building a camera mount for PVC piping using 3D printing. Let's get started. The 2018 Cleveland Mini Maker Fair was a huge success. I had a great time meeting all of the Cleveland area makers who attended the event and seeing everyone's incredible projects. Since not everyone would be able to attend the Maker Fair in person, I wanted to be able to live stream the robotic drawing machine in action via YouTube throughout the day so that people could watch online. Unfortunately, this was not possible using my current setup, as the drawing machine time lapses uploaded to my channel so far had been created by stitching together 30 minutes of individual photos that were taken manually. To solve this problem, I decided to use a webcam, 3D printing, and PVC pipe to build a camera mount for cameras with a quarter 20 threaded insert that I could attach to the drawing machine's particle board and mount directly over the drawing area, which could then record videos for live streaming and for more easily creating drawing time lapses. The camera mount is made out of the following components. Eight three inch long number six particle board screws, two 3D printed PVC coupler bases, two straight PVC adapters with a hex body for half inch PVC pipe, six more three quarter inch long number six particle board screws, one 5 8 inch long quarter 20 hex head bolt, one 3D printed thumb screw head, one 1 inch long 5 16 18 thread spade head thumb screw, one 5 16 18 hex nut, one 3D printed camera mount carriage, two 90 degree PVC elbow connectors for half inch PVC pipe, two 12 inch long sections of half inch PVC pipe, one 31 inch long section of half inch PVC pipe, and one Logitech C920 webcam. I began by measuring the thickness of the drawing machine's particle board using a pair of calipers. I next opened up Fusion 360, a free computer-aided drafting software package from Autodesk, and began to model the 3D printed components of the camera mount. The idea behind the camera mount was that everything would be built around half-inch diameter PVC pipe, and that the camera mount could be easily disassembled for easy transport in my car. To do this, I first model a set of base pieces that would accept PVC adapters, which would permanently mount to the drawing machine's particle board using a set of wood screws. I next modeled a camera carriage that would again slide over half-inch diameter PVC pipe and clamp to it using a thumb screw. Finally, I designed a thumb screw head for a 5 8 inch long quarter 20 hex head bolt, which would easily allow me to attach the camera carriage to a tripod compatible webcam with a quarter 20 threaded insert. While this camera mount was specifically designed with the drawing machine in mind, it's actually a general purpose, cheap mounting system for any camera onto plastic piping. In case you would like to make your own PVC camera mount, I've included links to the camera mount step files in the video description below, which will allow you to modify the hole diameters in the base plate and camera carriage for any pipe size that you may have on hand. Once I was happy with the design of the pieces, I saved each file as an STL or stereo lithography file which exported each component from the CAD software into a format that could be read by my computer slicing software. I then opened up Cura, a free 3D slicer, imported each STL file, and then saved the G-code print instructions generated by the software onto an SD card. I next inserted the SD card into my 3D printer and began the print job. The 3D printer reads the print instructions for each file from the SD card, moving the print head around the printer's base plate while extruding a thin stream of plastic. Once it finishes all print instructions for one layer, the printer moves the print head up a small distance, and then prints on top of the previous layer, slowly building up the 3D geometry of each part one layer at a time. The total print time for all components was approximately 9 hours. With the 3D printing done, it was now time to assemble and test the camera mount. I began the assembly process by finding the center line of the drawing machine's particle board using a T-square, and also wrote down the length of the particle board, which will be important for cutting the PVC pipe later. The next step involved the two 3D printed coupler bases and two straight PVC adapters for half inch PVC pipe that I bought at my local hardware store. I first carefully aligned the coupler with the base and then headed to my garage where I clamped the combined components into my bench vise. I then drilled a small pilot hole into the PVC adapter using the holes that I modeled into the 3D printed coupler base as a guide and then drove a wood screw through both pieces, clamping them together. I repeated this process five more times, which resulted in two sets of coupler bases that were firmly attached to the PVC adapters. I headed back inside and carefully aligned the coupler base assembly with the center line I had found earlier. I then drilled four more wood screws through the remaining guide holes on the coupler base, firmly attaching it to the drawing machine's particle board, 
and then repeated this process using the remaining coupler base assembly on the other side of the drawing machine. The next step was to cut three pieces of PVC pipe, which I did using a pipe cutter that I also bought from my local hardware store. I first measured out the longest piece using the particle board dimensions I had written down earlier, adding additional length to account for the distance between the edges of the particle board and the pipe centers of the coupler base. I also measured two equal lengths of PVC pipe, which would space the longer piece vertically above the drawing surface. After this, I mounted the pipe cutter onto the pipe at the marked distances, and rotated the pipe so that the cutter's wheel slowly sliced through it. I next attached a 5 16 18 hex nut into the 3D printed carriage plate hex nut recess feature using superglue. This held okay, but I should have used epoxy like I did previously in my 3D printed canstein video. I then also attached the thumb screw head I printed earlier to a 5 8 inch long quarter 20 hex head bolt using more superglue. Once the glue dried, I inserted the thumb screw assembly through the mounting hole in the bottom of the carriage plate assembly, and then slid the long piece of PVC pipe I cut previously through the carriage assembly's holes. At this point, I also inserted a 1 inch long, 5 16 18 threaded spade head thumb screw through the remaining hole in the carriage plate, which threaded through the nut on the other side, and clamped the carriage to the pipe once the thumb screw bottomed out on the carriage's neck. With the carriage in place, I next took two 90 degree PVC elbow connectors and slid them onto each end of the long PVC pipe. I then connected the two short pieces of PVC pipe I cut previously into the other ends of the elbow connectors. With these in place, I then inserted the free ends of the short pipe into the coupler base assemblies mounted on the drawing machine. The final step was to attach the webcam to the carriage using the thumb screw and to orient it so that it pointed towards the drawing surface. At this point, it was time to test the setup, so I attached a piece of paper to the drawing machine's particle board, mounted the pen in the drawing machine's pen holder, transferred drawing code from my laptop to the drawing machine using an SD card, plugged everything in, and started recording. After about a half an hour, I had a time-lapsable video of the drawing machine in action without needing to stitch together any photos, and was ready for Maker Faire. While this project was designed with the drawing machine in mind, the camera mount can be easily modified to fit any size PVC piping, and is a cheap and easy way to mount your camera in hard to reach places. A bill of materials and links to the STEP and STL files for the 3D printed parts can be found in the video description below so that you can make this camera mount for yourself. Again, a big thank you to everyone who came to the Cleveland Mini Maker Faire, and also a thank you to my friend Cody, who recorded the B-roll for the montage at the beginning of this video. If you end up making this camera mount yourself, or have any other cool projects that you'd like to share, I'd love to see it. Please get in touch using any of the social media links found in the video description. In the meantime, thanks for watching, see you soon, and go super make something. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Your support helps me make more episodes. Links to all project files can be found in the video description below. Click the subscribe button on the left to keep up with my latest projects, click the cards on the right to check out more episodes, and connect with me on social media. Thanks again for watching, now go super make something!